Hey everyone, it's Ryan Howe with Small Business News. I got a good one for you today. The Glassdoor Employee Confidence Survey is out and we're gonna take a look at it. Again, for those who don't know, this is the show where I bring you just some of the information I share with my clients every single day. I'm a business coach out of West Michigan and around the country and I hope to earn your subscription. So let's get into this here. Again, links are gonna be in the description down here, folks. This is the Glassdoor Employee Confidence Index. What that means is it's asking workers how confident they feel about the business prospects for their company, how well it's gonna be doing. It's a measure of you know, frankly, are we going to go out of business or not? Now, this is from Daniel Zhao, a lead economist at Glassdoor. Employee confidence increased ever so slightly in July, according to the latest data from the confidence index. The share of employees reporting a positive six-month business outlook ticked up to 48.1% in July. Let's take a look at the chart here. Now, this survey goes way back. You can see all the way back to 2016. And you can see we were on a steady, steady incline. 2020, we had our, you know, it had a dip down like, oh, no right back on trend and then the layoffs started happening layoffs after layoffs the economy was seemed to was doing worse and worse and worse and then now we're at the point here where it looks like it's bottomed and it's making its way back up but we've got a long way to go to get back to trend you know even to get back to 50 percent, it's going to be a be a pretty monumental lift but things are improving which is a good sign now one possible explanation for weak employee sentiment is an overwhelming sense of burnout after the 2021-22 labor shortages being followed by layoffs and a sluggish hiring in 23 and 2024. In fact, as of Q3 2024, the, the share of Glassdoor reviews mentioning burnout has increased to the highest level since our data began in 2016. Mentions of burnout surge now 44% above Q4 2019. Just look at how much that jumped up, folks. Burnout is now entrenched within our organization as an issue. It's something that you have to keep in mind and just be aware of. Now, burnout is not just a function of how much business an employer gets, Employees also view it as a result of leaders' decisions on resource allocation and high burnout reviews report lower business outlook as employees lose faith in leadership decision making. So this is a note that I'm sending to my clients today. It has to do with understanding how burnout affects the overall outlook for your employees. It's very difficult to have a positive outlook on your business's future if you are suffering from burnout. And that's going to have a direct effect on relationships with your clients, your customers, and even within the organization itself. Now, with that, in 2024, just 34% of reviews that mention burnout have a positive business outlook compared to 54% of reviews that don't. And that's what I was saying. In relative terms, that's, a, that's almost a 45% reduction as far as a positive outlook on the business. Burnout has a huge effect on that. Here's uh, one of the anonymous employees where they were looking at a business here. They talk about great teammates, supportive both professionally and personally. Branch leadership is helpful in protecting our time and really caring for us. Everyone is burned out and management hosts a session with our EAP provider about learning how to deal with the reality versus actually resolving the root of the issue. Everyone overworks more than before because the pressure from the new CEO. Work-life balance isn't there anymore because we're just focused on the immense growth year over year now. Line managers don't understand burnout and just blame the employees rather than helping. People are leaving in droves because of the line manager's lack of support. That is probably one of the most helpful Glassdoor reviews you will ever see. It was really, really good. Again, links are going to be in the description down there for this. As I mentioned earlier, it's nearly impossible to have a positive outlook on the future of the business if you're burnt out. That's just the way it works. And if business leaders want to turn the corner, they need to take a look at this burnout issue and figure out how to get more time off for their folks, set more realistic expectations for their teams so that our folks can stop being burned out. That's really what it comes down to. So with that, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully I earned your subscription. Take care and I will see you next time.